going on everyone? Welcome back to another BuzzFeed test. Now it is mid-December and we are in the prime of the holiday season. It's the time for spending time with family, giving and receiving gifts, and corny Instagram selfies. By the way, if you haven't followed me or liked that picture, it's David underscore Seymour <coughs> one. But anyway guys, we are back with another awesome recipe this week, and being that the pizza dip was not only my favorite video in general, but it's my most popular video, I have very high hopes for this recipe. And it is the pizza mac and cheese suggested by this person, that person, that one, and that one, pretty much on every single video. Now this may or may not top the pizza one, but either way, we're about to find out. Alright guys, in order to make this recipe, you are going to need butter, pepperoni, I have both a full one and pre-sliced, pre-minced or fresh cloves of garlic, parsley, flour, milk, cheddar cheese, some store-bought mozzarella cheese to shred, some fresh mozzarella cheese to put on top, some marinara sauce, and some elbow macaroni. Now guys, before we start anything else, we have to do some prep work. So grab your pepperoni, cut about a third of that, and then cube that all up. You want about a cup in total of this. Next, you're going to take 8 ounces of your cheddar cheese and shred that all down. Be very careful to not slip and almost completely skin your finger. Once you got that done, move that out of the way. You grab a preschool plate, grab 8 ounces of mozzarella cheese and shred that up as well. Now, once you've got both your cheeses and your pepperoni done, we're going to push that all to the side and grab a pot of water. Cook a pound of your elbow macaroni to an al dente because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. Take that out, strain it, and we're going to set it aside. The last prep work we gotta do is slice up your fresh mozzarella, so try to get six or seven slices out of the bowl. Now we can start assembling the base to this recipe. So grab a pot, grab three tablespoons of butter, melt that down, then add your pepperoni. Let that render off a little bit. I'm already salivating at the smell of this. Then throw one clove of minced garlic in there and one teaspoon of parsley. Once that looks all combined, you're gonna throw in one, two, three tablespoons of flour and then one, two, three cups of milk. You're gonna allow that to cook down for a couple minutes, then add your cheddar cheese, mix that all in, then your mozzarella cheese, and mix that in as well. This whole melting process takes about five to 10 minutes. Once I got to what I thought was the right consistency, I threw in a half pound of the pasta, stirred that all together, and now we can start assembling this masterpiece. The only problem is I do not have cast iron, so I grabbed a glass pan, first threw down the macaroni, then cover that with a layer of marinara sauce and your fresh mozzarella. Finish that off with a nice even layer of pepperoni and that's gonna go in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. We're due for a good one guys and this thing is looking like it's gonna be. All right guys, here we go. After last week's catastrophe, this needs to be good. Holy moly, that's good stuff. This and pizza dip is right there. I honestly didn't think the combination of a macaroni and cheese and tomato sauce would be good at all, but holy God, it's good. The little crust you have on all the mozzarella cheese around the outside is like on point. I have no complaints about this whatsoever. 10 out of 10. I'm about to finish this whole thing. I wish you could all taste this right now and I could send you all a piece because that's how good it is. But if you guys like today's BuzzFeed test, please smash that thumbs up. Let's, you know what, we've been hitting it every time, so let's just go for 100. As always, all my social media links will be right down in the description if you wanna go follow me on those. And oh, before I leave, I've seen a lot of you guys concerned that the BuzzFeed YouTube channel has stopped posting recipes. And I don't know why exactly that happened. There could be a bunch of different reasons, but on their Facebook page, they're still actively uploading new videos, so go check that out. There's a ton of new recipes, and if you see any you want me to try, let me know down in the comments. In the process of filming this outro, I just finished my entire thing. But that is it for me, guys. I'm out of here. I hope you have an absolutely awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you right back here next Thursday for Christmas Eve. Peace!